So the obvious question, what do you look for tonight? Well, you want to see effort and you want to see the players uh, implement some of the things we're trying to do during the week. Uh, but we really want to see, uh, see what they bring to the table, especially the guys on PTOs, the tryout players. They are fighting for, uh, to stay here or uh, be a first call-up guy. So we want to just see the players play well, try to execute what we've been trying to implement, and, but without taking away from what they do individually. Some of these PTO guys, they were here just a few days, right? It's, many guys had the Nashville camp, but just a few days. So it's kind of a big test of aptitude here, right? Yeah, you know, we're going to play a couple of rosters in each game here. Uh, we want everyone, when you come to our camp, we want you to play a game, and we think you deserve that. Uh, uh, you give us good effort during the week, you travel, you give us your, your trust. We want to give them an opportunity. That's kind of why we did a little bit of inter-squad yesterday is to give everyone another opportunity to show us, uh, show myself and management and the coaches what they want to, uh, uh, what legacy they want to leave behind from the, for this camp. So for me, you know, um, we just want to see these guys do what they can, make sure they play hard, they're coachable, and see what they do on the bench. You know, a real game happens and you see different reactions and emotions and different things that occur. Um, you know, so these two games, I'm sure Chicago will be playing two very different lineups as well, trying to get their uh, themselves organized for the season as well. You like to, at home, you like to play guys that are familiar to the fans, and that's certainly nice for fans who come out. Not all, not all of them, but quite a few of them. Well, we don't have a, we don't have a lot of guys in camp. I think 31, if I'm not mistaken, and five of them are goalies. So uh, there isn't a lot of guys to shuffle in and out. Um, when you get uh, you know, that 35 skater area, then you have a lot of guys to shuffle in and out. So there'll be some guys that don't play their games. There'll be some guys that play both games. Some guys play one game. Uh, but we definitely want the guys that are uh, fighting to earn a spot or to give themselves an opportunity to give them every opportunity that's available to show us what they can do. Do you suspect these games are full of penalties, the aggression, all of this stuff? Are the, I, I don't even know. Are the officials supposed to crack down on anything at the beginning of this season? Yeah, we have not many directives. That usually happens next week where all that stuff will get sent out. It's, it's the same every year for the most part. There'll be an area of concern, whether it's slashing in the hands or cross-checking a couple of years ago. Um, and usually there's a lot of early calls. Uh, just to try to set the table. Um, I think you're going to see both teams trying to establish themselves. I know it's a, it's a new year for Chicago with not having a parent team, so uh, there's a lot of players sensing opportunity. I think you're going to see very competitive, aggressive uh, players on their team trying to make their team in both, uh, in both games. So um, speaking about us, we just want to see, like we said, uh, our guys play well, stick together, and, and just play a good game. The final one here, uh, Mark Jankowski is in town, and I mean, anything can happen, who knows, but right now he's on the team, and that's certainly a welcome addition. Yeah, no, he's a very good player. Uh, I, you know, he's probably very disappointed uh, to start out, and we understand that. Um, he's been here before, so I think last year might have started like this, yeah. and uh, he had six goals or whatever it was in 10 games, and then he, he left for the rest of the year, so... It's early in the year, lots of teams have lots of bodies, and there's lots of players getting disappointed over the next couple of days. So uh, for Janko, we really appreciate what he does. The organization really likes him uh, for what he offers. And I'm just glad that he's here. He's got a good attitude. He's ready to do what he needs to do. And uh, he seemed really positive about moving forward today, but obviously there's always disappointment. One more thing, I, this will be the last one. Ty Felliber, I heard, had a really fine camp in Nashville, and, and now he's here. He, he was really good for your team last year in March when you needed somebody to step up and put some goals in. Yeah, you know what? He was a driver in, in Nashville, and he's continued that here. Uh, two practices ago, he, he hit someone on the forward check. All of a sudden, my practice got a lot better. So I was really, uh, you love those guys that do certain things to have people uh, step up and drive a line. I think Ty's done that. I think he got noticed in Nashville, and he's able to have people uh, watch him a little closer. Even though he's starting an American League contract, I think we, our organization has a pretty good track record of converting American League deals if guys earn opportunities, and uh, that's a real credit to Scott Nickel and the management team.